and everyone. The daily slog kills me. Not if it happens the way it did last. Here, take this forgery and pray that King Rhesius sees nothing amiss. I trust you know what you're doing. Straight from Hafton's hand, as you see. Hmm, yes, yes. Well, if Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still, my help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin, I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. Hafton's soldiers, for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? But I jest, I jest. All is in order, then. If Haftan commands, I shall raise my feared, and you shall have your fighting army. Good. Get them marching at once. This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. Eivor, a moment with you? I'll meet you at Stenweir. Faravid is Haftan's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> For whom are you fighting, truly? fight for myself and my people as any great leader must why ask me of loyalty what are you seeking an innocuous question loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey sweet to the taste but never lingering there are things simmering in Northumbria hidden from even you take heed and have a care Part of it should be waiting at Stenway.
for treasure. He got Frey down deep, but I can't see him anymore.
Where's after and Jarl? Will he be here? Where are the Saxons? We need them to take that fortress. Patience. Rishie promised an army. What about Hjor and Lufvina? Lufvina is ahead with a dozen of Jorik swords. Come. Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march. Have them join us and stay home out of spite. Part of its plan had better be sound. Let us hope this goes well. Part of its army. Battlefield once more, old friend. Yes, my Jarl. As in days of old. Who are you to speak of the old days? The days when my word was bond. The days when the light of my glory lit the world. 
How dare you speak of those days, as if they meant anything to a traitor like you? Who told you of this? My new ally is more loyal than my old friend. Eivor Two-Faced. That is your name. Gently, friend. I told Halfton because it was my duty. Enough bickering, all of you. We are at the edge of war. Preserve your rage for the enemy. Yuvina talks sense. We fight this battle and we end this war. At this moment, nothing else matters. Look there. The pigs send a message. Raven Tamer, with me. You will talk them into a surrender with your sword sharp tongue. Turn tail and run, back beyond the wall. The Romans built that wall to keep us out. But they are gone, and we remain. Someday you too will disappear. Wall or no wall, we have more gods than you. We may have but one god hidden, but we have many more friends. Who now is the rightful king of Northumbria? <laughs> The kingdom has spoken! Use 
that rope is strong. Open for the coward King Rishi.
For Thor! For Ragnar! For Halfdan! Ah, oh, the sweet taste of victory! And Rishia defeated. Was he the thorn at my back? The traitor I suspected all this time? Save your praise, Halfdan. Rishia may yet live. That coward will be dead in a snowdrift somewhere. It matters not. This day is not done until we've seen his corpse. Do not relent. Not yet. Eivor, rise like an eagle or call like a crow.
Ixia! There! He's fleeing to the north! the spirits this day, traitor. <coughs> Faithful counselor, please help me back to Jorvik. Let my heart expire at home. I have no favors left to offer you, Rishir. Soon, you will walk beside your guard. But I... I see no light. I feel no warmth. Only... an icy darkness. A, a cave. Hell's frozen door welcoming you. What, what waits for me there, Eivor? What waits for me? A traitor's death for a treasonous fool. He was the hero in tales he told himself. A Saxon who loved his homeland. You cannot begrudge him that. There is something in that. No more Saxon kings, Eivor. I am through playing the puppeteer. The fate of this shire rests on my shoulders alone. You'll take the crown yourself, and the extra burden it brings. I will. But I will not rule alone. My friends, my allies, will keep me standing upright. Let us talk of our alliance in Jorvik. Leave this king to his winter kingdom.
Afghan is not here. 
Where is he? Moira, is Hafton about? Eivor, welcome! Hafton has stepped outside with Faravid. They shouldn't be far. Gore himself couldn't out drink me! Ah! A thirsty foe? If you suck it back faster than me, you are the victor. Ah, is it the silver or the courage you are lacking? Think you can swim with the past? The ceremony hastens to start. Let's not keep the crowd waiting. Eivor! Yes, let us go. To inscribe our names in history. No more pulling strings. This throne and its burdens are mine. Have you had enough fun? My crowning must come soon. I'll save some for later. Let's make a king of you. To Eivor and the Raven Clan of Mercia, our newest ally in blood and glory! To Hafdan King, I lift my horn and raise my brow to speak this praise. Crown Spire, Stout Oak of Valkyries, Spinner of Battle Wisdom, long may you live and rule. Skull! Skull! <coughs> <laughs> Moira, what is this metal? It's soft, like Roman pipes. Ah, oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank from cups like these for so long. She... You... All these years you gifted me poison! <laughs> you gifted me madness! Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. Cheese your weapon, Farid. Eivor, make this man see sense. He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Oh, shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? I was a fool to not see it! Treason must never go unpunished. After all we did together? After all we won? If any of my clan committed such a betrayal, I would rip his flesh from his bones. You are not the warrior you used to be, my friend. Traitor! Kill him! Feed him to the wolves! Look at him, 
End of our road. Stand, you treasonous bastard! Stand and fight me! Old friend, do you remember the days we raced our horses across the length of this land? You were always faster. You always won. Because I let you win, my army. So I will let you win. One last time. We will meet once more in the corpse hall. Afton, it's time I go. Hmm? I'm leaving for Mercia, going home. And go with this. A sign of friendship. A bond between our clans, a symbol of the pain and suffering it took to win the peace. I hope we were right about him. <laughs> now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. Hey there, how are you? I entered Jovik's Shire to meet Halfton Jarl, and I left a friend of Halfton the King. We have an oath at last. Good, very good. I want to see the Alliance map. I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north. From your old friend, Billy. Billy? A name I've not heard in ten winters or more. 
How is he? Well, it seems. Vili asked... A welcome invitation. It is worth recalling that his father... I will leave for Snottinghamshire today. Good. They will be pleased. Let's go. Sail! Catch the wind! Come a long way. Traveler, what seek you? Perhaps I can help. Well worth a little silver, I assure you. All right. Look here. This spot I'll mark on your map. A place I know. Come to Snottingham. Let's go. Make sure the supplies are secured. We may set off at any moment. Do 
I trust my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trigvi, you old hound, how are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. Ah, but a healthy Jarl beard it is not. And what of Billy? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Billy's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Hemingryal looks to finish the job. Off looking for a fight, I should have known. Yes, Vili's sword always finds its way into trouble sooner or later. Not a bad way to live. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Vili's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Hemming a Jarl is an ox. So he is. And he'll be pleased to skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come. The swiftest path is by river, but these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the Wolfkist to the encampment. Traveled far, spilling the dew of slaughter. A reputation is the price of victory. Aha! Indeed! the sea beasts. Eivor Wolfkist is here to escort us upriver. Remember when Billy and I were small children, 
You spun many epic yarns for us over the hearth fire. But I do not remember you telling us how you came to serve Heming a Jarl. Is it a tale worth telling? It is, but a sad one. I suppose I was the age you are now. Skadi had sent us a harsh move. I have orders to go to Stoneberg, but our camp is just ahead, so hurry on without me. My sheepskin. That there is Eivor the Wolfkin. Eivor! Hail! Freya's kiss. You came. Welcome. Your son sent for me, Heming Yayal. One of the happier messages I've had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifor. Strong. Healthy. My heart sings as well. It's good to see you again. Aye, aye. Yours is a poet's heart, I am told. What a mix of spirits you have. Movement on the walls! We must end this soon. Before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. These men are flies for swatting. Even now, Drakefi rides for Stormybird. Should any Picts escape, it will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You 
have known me as your Jarl for an age. And I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden to bear. Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. You're not slurring, Billy. Have you mislaid your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerdorp. Trick V and Eivor have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts. To feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower, their war chief's weapon in hand, drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Vili. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my calloused hands? We can snatch glory together. Unless you're too frightened to fight beside me. Oh no, this is a contest now. To the top of that tower, and the pick chief is the prize. Old times, then. And new alike. Fight, Heminger sons. Bring victory today. For tomorrow, we feast! <laughs>
No, no, stop, stop. I'm fine. There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Heminger. Only care and bandages. My clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The hearts in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. <coughs> Love my son all the more, but he lacks the trust of our Danes, and I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick, and you accept it. Unlike my son, he thinks me immortal because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Billy who summoned me, or you, Hemingan? I thought you would come faster if it was Vili's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it. Of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Tryggvi, a fine man with a mind for leadership. But his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. I have known Billy since we were small. He's bold and courageous, and your warriors love the man. The nobles should choose him. Your sight is clear, and your mind is sharp. Let that guide your thinking in the days to come. Philly departs for kinder downfall soon. Ride with him, and talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer. It's open. Billy. There you are. Come. Ride with me to the falls. They are Freya's gifts to these unforgiving lands. All right. But if I don't faint at the sight of them, you have oversold the view.
stay sharp. You fight with impressive skill, I should say. I taught you well. You taught me how to fight empty air, Billy, and trees and snowdrift and the like. No, I am certain I saved you from a snowdrift once, and a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is a man who's had one too many blows to the head. That tower there, it recalls... It recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's. Remember? I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule feast. I'll have you remember. <sighs> it's good to ride with you again, our stick. I told you, that yeah. was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Stavanger? Eivor the Pantless, a head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. A dragon's tail it was, then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen? Is that what you call your house? <laughs> Stonebird, no! was Strigme not sent there by father to help? We must go!
Ivor! What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tend the wounded. We'll get them out. Get to Trickley! You'll be safe with him! Eivor! Eivor, where are you? Get over here! Billy! Where are you? Answer me! Neighbor. You carry the woman. Niflheim will have to wait. You are staying here today. <coughs> oh, thank to your father. Hold on to me. I can get you out. I will tend to... <sighs> oh, thank you, Philly. Thank you. I draw breath because of you. I thought I might have to rescue you, Vili. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Vili. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. 
My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same ass stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinderdunfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Billy, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Hemminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Vili wasn't taking it well. Vili lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside, and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? Have you braced yourself for what is to come? I... I have made my peace with the future. Yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Vili myself. Hey, brother, hey, he pulled past